I have no doubt that it will happen. I have doubt that it will happen on our watch. So would you agree that aging will be solved sooner or later? Because there is no doubt in my mind that it will. We have animals which do not age and scientists can already make the elegant worms live to 1000 human years with the trivial genetic changes. But what we don't know is when we will translate these achievements to humans. Currently it looks like it won't happen in our lifetime and there isn't much we can do about it. Unless... Some time ago I was quite positive that we were almost there. Remember those original resveratrol studies extending lifespan by 70%? <sighs> Good times, high hopes. Soon we will be able to extend our life just like that. And while we live for extra 50 years, some other discoveries will pile in and we can all stay young for hundreds and hundreds of years. That's what's called longevity escape velocity, LEV. An idea introduced by Aubrey de Grey in 2004. Or so. And a lucky small molecule like resveratrol is most likely an achievable speed boost to get on that curve now. Right after of course exercise, sleep, ikigai and a few other crucial prerequisite pillars we've already discussed before. We will get nowhere without them. But back to resveratrol, of course as we pretty soon found out, it doesn't even work in normal mice and forget humans. It can be even harmful for us. And that's the elegant life extension to 1000 years? Well, the elegant worm is just one tiny living gut or anus. But we would like our heart and brain live to 1000 years too, yes? And so all these high hopes came to a crushing halt for me. And the anti-aging research, although it's extremely underfunded, of course continues, mostly on mice. And again, unfortunately, and for more than one reason, mice are a horrible choice as the first exploratory level for anti-aging drugs. It takes multiple years, if not decades, to discover and reproduce the interventions, and you can pretty much forget about combinations, which might amplify the effects. New drugs, which are already expensive, multiplied by the years above, become prohibitively expensive to test. Mice are hard to deal with and that limits experimentations only to the specifically equipped and trained labs. And all above equates to expensive, slow and completely out of our control. Not exactly what we want if we are to achieve some breakthroughs in this century. But luckily it's not just my opinion and that's how I met Leon, who is a biologist in Harvard Medical School focusing on longevity research. Are you ready for some good news? I think there is a fighting chance to live to 150. There is a new model organism which has the heart and the brain and has been shown in studies to have similar to mice drug response. But it has life cycle which is 30 times shorter and faster than mice. It's very sensitive to drugs and makes testing very cheap and accessible. And now the best part. It's so cheap that you, you, can start testing and contributing to longevity studies right away. So it's no longer about them doing the research, it's about us, me and you tackling our common enemy, aging, together. And just like that, the escape velocity might be within our grasp and we have the full agency in it. Whew. But that agency also comes with responsibility to do something. So here's your action plan. Share this message so more people can join and subscribe, because the more people we have, the quicker we find solutions. Check this video where I go to Harvard Medical School to discuss the platform with Leon, read the instructions, try them, give us all the feedback, positive or negative. Living is smart, aging is bad, let's fix it.